I have one of these fancy IKEA desks that lets you raise it up so you can use your computer while you're standing. When I first got it, I used to stand up most afternoons, and I found that it really helped to reduce my headaches and the knots in my shoulders. It was really beneficial. But then I got lazy, and for the better part of the last three years, I don't think it went into the standing position once. I found myself spending hours just slobbing in my chair with terrible posture. Then, one day, after updating my Home Assistant, it just showed up as a detected device, and I found that I could raise and lower it via my home automation system. Pretty useless, given that it has a paddle right here next to me that I can use for that. I then realised that I could probably use this integration to create some sort of automation to force me to stand up if it detects that I've been sitting down for too long. It ended up being a lot more complicated than I first thought it would be, but I learned a bunch of new things about Home Assistant along the way. Let's take a look. The desk comes into Home Assistant as a cover device, like a blind or a garage door, which I guess makes sense as it does raise and lower, kind of like a window blind does. The cover can be set to a specific position, from 0, which is the lowest setting, to 100, which is the highest setting. I set the desk manually to the level I normally sit at and recorded the value that it said, and did the same thing again when I was in the standing position. I could then use these numbers in my automations to detect if the desk was in the sitting or the standing position. But this wasn't enough. I wanted my smart home to annoy me if I'd been sitting at my desk for more than two hours, so that I'd be incentivized to stand up. But I only wanted that to happen if I was in my office, at the actual desk. I didn't want it to happen in the middle of the night, when the desk has been sitting idle but no one was actually at it. I'm pretty much guaranteed to be at my desk if I'm in my office, there's really no other reason for me to come in here. So I could use this present sensor here next to my desk for this automation. I created an automation that was triggered when the presence sensor detected someone for more than five minutes. No point triggering the automation if I just walked into the office to drop off my laptop or something. I also wanted the automation to trigger if the desk was lowered into the sitting position in case I started the day standing up and sat down later on without leaving the office and re-triggering the presence sensor. It took me some thinking to figure out how to trigger an automation based on two things that both needed to be true. The solution I landed on was to have both of these things in the trigger area and duplicate the height check in the condition. So, when the presence sensor changes to detected for more than five minutes, the conditions check to make sure that the desk is in the sitting position. The automation isn't triggered if someone is in the office for five minutes and the desk is in the standing position. The automation is also triggered when the desk lowers to the sitting position, but it doesn't bother checking for presence because the paddle is attached to the desk, which is in the office, so someone has to be in here. When the automation is triggered and the conditions pass, the timer start action runs and starts a two hour countdown timer. If the desk lifts up into the standing position again, another automation is triggered with a cancel timer action to stop that timer. I've also added this same action to an existing automation I had that turns off the lights and the air conditioner if I leave my office for more than 10 minutes. This means that if I leave the office and go and walk around, the timer resets because it thinks that I've gotten up. This IKEA desk cover entity annoyingly stores the current position in an attribute, so I had to use a template trigger that reads the right attribute of the desk entity and evaluates what the level is at, like this. It's really confusing, but I managed to work it out, and you can see it here on screen if you need to do something similar. I'll also drop it in the comments below. I can now sit at my desk, working away, for up to two hours without being annoyed. I've actually added a conditional mushroom template badge to the screensaver of the Android tablet dashboard that I have next to my desk that shows the time remaining on my timer. That way I can glance over and see how long I've been sitting. Once the timer finishes, a final automation is triggered by the timer finished event trigger. I had to create this complicated event type trigger manually, and I'm sure there has to be a better way, but I've not figured that out. If you know how to do this more easily, please let me know in the comments below. The automation checks to make sure that someone is actually in the office when the timer finishes, and if they are, it selects a preset on my monitor WLED lights to start them flashing blue and yellow. If my key light is on, which means I'm probably on a work video call, it waits until I turn that off, and then it starts raising the desk all by itself to force me to stand up using the cover set position action. This is actually pretty annoying, and probably also quite dangerous, so I'm going to disable this pretty soon. It works really well, and it's helped me get back into the good habits that I was in before. I felt noticeably less stiff, and had less back and shoulder pain. 
I could have also had the automation trigger some sort of voice alert on my voice assistant telling me to stand up, but I really prefer these types of visual notifications that don't interrupt me in the middle of a conversation. Have you done anything like this in your smart home? Do you have any suggestions for how I can improve this automation? Let me know in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, why not subscribe to the channel if you like this type of video. I regularly release videos about smart homes, home assistant, and automations. By subscribing to the channel, you know when I post something new, and then together we can make your home smarter.